Chemistry Experiment 12.1 Using the ideal gas equation to determine the amount of acid in vinegar. Supplies Mass scale, plastic, 2 liter bottle, round balloon with an 8 inch diameter, vinegar, baking soda, seamstress tape, thermometer, weather report that contains an atmospheric pressure for the day. We started this experiment by simply putting 200.0 grams of vinegar in a bottle. We went on to the second part of this experiment with putting 30.0 grams of baking soda inside a balloon. We continued this experiment by attaching the balloon to the bottle, then we shook all the contents of the balloon into the bottle, and then swirled it slowly to mix in any contents that had it. With that complete, we measured them. After finishing measuring the circumference of the balloon, 59.5 centimeters, we divided it by 10 to get decimeters. Now, the circumference of a balloon is pi r2. So, if we work that out by multiply isolating r, we get r equals c over pi 2. All right, nice job. Now, hold on. Next is the calculations. In order to solve for r, we put decimeters on the top and pi on the bottom, then multiply by 2. Coming up with our answer, 3.79 decimeters. We know the radius of the balloon now, but we want to find the volume. So we use the equation for the volume of the sphere, come up with our answer, and then look at an interesting point, which is that decimeters cubed equals liters. Yes, just like centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters, equals milliliters, so decimeters cubed equals liters. So for the next part of our calculations, we use PD equals NRT. In this part of the equation, P stands for pressure, the V stands for volume, and for the number of moles, R represents a constant, and T stands for temperature in Kelvin. At the beginning of the day, Mrs. Semple told us that the pressure outside was 0 0.9953 atms. This is the same as the pressure inside the balloon. The problem with this is that the pressure inside the balloon is made up not only of CO2, but also oxygen. Now what we do is we subtract the pressure of the oxygen from the total pressure of the balloon. But what is the pressure of oxygen? The pressure of oxygen is 26.7 torr. Now we must convert that to ATM, and here we go, and now you can see how we solve it. Now what we do is we subtract it, and we have our answer for pressure of CO2 inside the balloon. Yay, nice job. Okay, but we've only solved for pressure. Uh, now we have to solve for temperature. Now the temperature inside the balloon is 28.6 degrees Celsius. We convert that to Kelvin get our answer, but lots of significant figures. Alright, so we've solved for everything we need to, except the equation itself. PV equals NRT, but we're not solving for RT. So we isolate N by getting rid of RT and putting it on the other side, ending our equation with PV over RT equals N. We know what our pressure is, our volume is 228 liters, R is a constant, and T is our temperature. R is 0.0821 atms times liters over moles times kelvin. Now we solve the equation, and thanks to R, we're able to cross out everything but moles, so we end up with our answer. But there's something I didn't tell you, which is that we're not solving for CO2, we're solving for acetate acid, so we're not done yet. Let's examine our balance equation. We are lucky to see that our amount of CO2 is equal to the amount of our acetate acid. So we actually don't have to do any figuring. Our amount of CO2 is equal to the amount of our acetate acid. Well, at least in moles. So we get to end this lovely adventure with one last calculation. We were informed by the book that there are 60.0 grams of acetate acid in one mole of acetate acid. Now, if there are 8.84 moles, when we multiply that out, 
you get our answer. Thank you.